the Author Show. I'm Linda Thompson, and today we are talking with Dr. Joyce Mills, who is a therapist, author, storyteller, and speaker, but best of all, she's a very dear friend of mine. And we're going to be discussing Butterfly Wisdom, Four Passages for Transformation. Welcome to the show, Joyce. I'm delighted to be here with you today, Linda. Uh, one of the quotes she uses, when you know where you are, you'll know where you are going. Uh, I've never known where I'm at from one day to the next. So what is Butterfly Wisdom? Well, Butterfly Wisdom is a tool that I developed for women, for people who are going through change, and it helps them to know, based on the butterfly's passages, the four passages, from new beginnings, preparing for change, uh, the dark spaces we go through in life and the, how wings emerge in our life. Uh, it helps us to know that if we know what passage we're in, we know what the next passage is. So similar to the egg stage, the caterpillar, the chrysalis, and the w emerging butterfly wings, we also parallel those stages. You say wings happen when you hear the music, dance with zest, laugh out loud, taste passion, see the rainbows, feel your wings and soar. Have you always had a passion for butterflies? Yes, I think it came about more and more as I began to work in the healing profession. Uh, one of my really good friends who's a neurobiologist, and I call her my bug lady friend, you know, she told me one day, she asked me, how do I see healing? And I'm kind of like a little weird, so I kind of saw, you know me, Linda. So I saw this beautiful butterfly in my imagery, and I said, well, you know, we're kind of like caterpillars. We go in a cocoon, and then we emerge, and we become butterflies. Well, Diana laughed at that, and she said, you missed it. That's not what happens at all. And then she had my attention. She said, what happens is inside of every caterpillar, there are special cells called imaginal disks. Now, I didn't even know what that was, but I wanted to run out and buy them. And what she said is imaginal discs contain all the seeds of change and they lie dormant in the body of the caterpillar. And inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar literally has a breakdown. It becomes gooey and soupy. And it's only at the point of this breakdown or the seeds of change release that creates the change from caterpillar to gooey soup to the beautiful butterfly that we are destined to become. Are you telling me that the only way I'm going to be able to transform is to become gooey and soupy? That well, sounds terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, you know how we all say we don't want to go through those dark passages? Mm -hmm. We don't want to, you know, we kind of feel like we want to withdraw. We don't want to talk to anybody. And a lot of times in our society, we label that as depression. Maybe it is depression, but I look at it in terms of the four passages because that's relational to nature. So when we, let, let's say, have our breakdown, we feel like we're becoming, quote, gooey and soupy, like there's no substance to us. That's really a very powerful and positive time for change. And what we need to stay connected to are our own imaginal disks. Our own imaginal disks are our inner gifts, resources, and, ski excuse me, and skills that enable us to reach our full winged potential. Okay, you're a speaker and an author, and I'm going to ask you something that's going to be quite a challenge. In 20 words or less, explain to me these four sets of cards. Okay, three sets. Three sets of cards. Okay. The passages cards, there's 20 cards in, each pa in, in the passages deck, five cards in each of the four passages, new beginnings, preparing for change, dark spaces, and wings happen, with each with an inspirational word and message on the card. The imaginal discards have also inspirational messages and words that mirror our own inner gifts, resources, and skills that enable us to feel joyful in life so that we can go through each of the four passages. And this deck, the guideline cards, was created for people to be able to use in a very simple way. If they don't want to take the whole packaging with them, the whole kit, all they do is they put this together like this same directions on here that's in the book in one of the per, in one of the uh, chapters and they stick it into the little gift bag that comes along as complimentary with this with this kit and off they go stick it in your bag in your in your purse in a, in a, a suitcase wherever you want to go leave the rest of it behind and you've got a full self-contained transformation kit right in your hands. Is this something you do by yourself, for yourself, or with others? You can do it with yourself, 
as an inspire for example for inner balance you choose one card from the passages deck one card from the imaginal disc deck you get your guidance for the day you can do this for yourself you can do this in a relationship if you're having a relationship with someone your loved one and they feel stuck you can do it with them there's four different ways to use the deck for inner balance intuition transformation and your imaginal discs creating the gifts so that you can go to sleep, dream, and feel in balance in your life. You can do this with your teenagers. I do it with teenage kids. And you can also use it with your friends as a gift. Okay. Um, you started out with, I created this for women, and a little bit ago you said people can use. Who is the audience for this? Primarily, I would say women, because women are interested in transformation. I, and first of all, I want to just add this, because it's really, for me, it was very exciting in doing the research. There's a goddess psyche, the goddess psyche. Her symbol is the butterfly, the ancient goddess psyche. Her symbol is the butterfly. Psyche means the soul. It never meant the mind. So what it means is that it's the transformation, the transformation of how we are, how we see ourselves in our soul and our connection to people in this world. So women, by nature of the way our bodies work, we are transforming all the time, from the time we're born, going through our first menstruations, through menopause, and then out into a time of what Native people tell us, our grandmother moon time, which is really a very powerful time. Okay, that sounds like a lot of work. <clears throat> and as you and I both well know, there are hundreds of thousands of people that are willing to put in the time, and there are hundreds of thousands of people who say, if it isn't easy, I'm not going to do it. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to those people, how this would help them? If, if, you, can check, if you can pick up two cards and read approximately one paragraph and two words, you could make it easy for yourself. You can use this in your everyday life anywhere, even if you're waiting in line for the bank, at the bank. And how many times do you have to go through this to actually feel like you have reached some uh, level of completion or the process or I'm not sure what, what am I, when I get to the end of this, what am I supposed to expect or is this an ongoing thing? You can use it every single day like you take your vitamins, I call spiritual vitamins. You can t use this every day just as a simple balancing, self-balancing tool. One card, one card, that's it. Off you go to work, you feel centered, you feel good. That's about it. It doesn't have to be an ongoing process to achieve. Uh. The achievement is in the moment that you pick up a card. That's it. If that's all you want to do, that's all you need to do. Quick and dirty, 10 words or less. I like that. That's going to get a lot of people. So now where can we find it? You can find it at my website, drjoycemills.com. You, there will be also a 1-800 number on my website for people, um, uh, also Amazon.com, uh, Changing Hands Bookstore locally here in Phoenix, Arizona, and soon to be in Barnes & Noble and Borders to be distributed nationwide. Well, congratulations. That's, that's quite a um, feat right there. Um, is there more butterfly wisdom in the future for Joyce Mills? Yes, I am working on other products and other uh, ways of using butterfly wisdom. My next uh, part in this is going to be creating a uh, journal for women to use in their everyday lives and that they can uh, really document or put down what their ideas, what comes to them. And they can either be in the terms of imagery or in words. It doesn't matter. Well, this is just fantastic because you've actually made me want to go do it now. So uh, I think that you have accomplished the mission in inspiring some of us who want the 10 words or less quick and dirty version. And that's a good thing. So thank you so much, my dear friend, for joining us today. I really appreciate your inspiration. Your smile is always phenomenal, and you are very uplifting to all of us who really sometimes struggle with the day-to-day -day stuff. We'd like to thank Joyce for being with us today. Tune in next time, because we never know who we're going to have. But remember, a book can change a life one word at a time.